And hello friends, welcome to my new video. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize. Today's video is going to be not short as usually. Uh, because I noticed that one of my videos where I modify Steel Dive 1970, Captain Willard, got a lot of views and I decided to make another modification video for you. Because I get kind of many orders for such simple modifications and this is going to be the next order i decided why not to record to you maybe you will like this mod and we'll make the same one okay so for this mod i'm, I'm gonna use still dive 1975 tuna as you see here uh, i'm not gonna describe this the spec of this watch in details just it 47.5 millimeters the case without the crown yeah in other maybe in next video i'm gonna make a review for this model i have all the colors including the new one with uh, light blue dial and different bezels okay that's gonna be later so today i'm gonna make from this beautiful steel dive watch which is actually already beautiful i'm gonna do very simple and really uh, I want to say attractive mod. I'm gonna use this dial. As you see, this is the same green color, but it has the parallel effect and it looks really, really nice, really beautiful. I want to say that I ordered this dial from AliExpress. Again, it's not expensive dial, it's not original or whatever, it's not from the uh, expensive uh, shops for modding watches it cost about $14 $15 probably something like that and I think this is incredible quality for this price so let's begin uh, I'm gonna do it step by step for those who never modify the watch who wanna try and afraid to screw up I'm gonna show you how I do it the way I do it, it might be not the most correct way to modify watches but it's the way I use and which work 95% of cases for me so first of all you need to remove a bracelet I use the simple tool flat screwdriver and put it aside Next, I use this tool for opening the back case and for protecting, for protecting the case from the scratches, just use some piece of plastic, like the one comes with the, with the watch, which covers the watch, really easy to use, it's kind of sticky and not, not moving anywhere. It doesn't require much power to open the case. If you go to the gym, it's gonna be even easier. Some cases are really hard to open, but this one very easy. And we have here. Need to remove this gasket. And take a look, for those who never modify the watch with NH35 movement, I'm repeating, that's, that's important. If you're not beginner, you already know, but if you're a beginner, uh, that's important to know. So this is NH35 movement, the most common one you can modify. Uh, all these dials you can see on AliExpress with Seiko logo, they are mostly for NH35 or 36 movement which is different only uh, the 36 movement has a day wheel yeah so uh, before before you remove the crown there is one important thing you have to remember look because my first or second mode I kind of broke the keyless system and I needed to remove all the parts and set it together, which I successfully did. But after kind of few hours of many confusions. So I want to help you not to step in the same 
in the same trap. Before you remove, you have to make sure that the crown is in the first position where you win the watch. Okay. If you're gonna remove the crown, the, the stem when it's in the second or third position for adjusting the time, probably you're gonna screw up. So make sure it's in this position when you can move it, when you can win the watch. Then if you can see here, gonna zoom it for you, here you have to push this small part, you can see here. You have to push it, hold, and pull the crown out, pull the stem out of the movement. It's really easy to do. Just pushing it here gently, not too much. Don't need to go through the watch, and it comes out very, very easy. Okay, next. Use the same flat screw driver and remove the movement from the same side where the stem goes in the watch. Just like that. Then what I do, I just use this close for, for the watches and flip it over very easy. And my cat came to help me. Okay, next. The next step, you have to put the crown, the, the stem back in the movement because you have to remove the hands just like that, very gently find the right, the right position to push it in. Then let's make all the hands in the same position, just like that, enough. Yep. And now I use these small plastic things. I'm not sure how to call them, but just for protecting the dial. So you put it under hands, just like that. And use these special tools for removing the hands. You can see, <coughs> you can see this shape, right? Okay, there is one, there is one actually thing that sometimes happens with this model. I hope it won't happen right now, but if it doesn't happen, I won't tell you what's that, but if it happens, we need to fix it then. So let's remove the hands. Very gently, first come out. Make sure you remove it evenly from both sides. Okay, so my, my phone stopped recording when I was removing the hands, but I successfully finished removing. Um, do the same as I told you, just be careful. Then we need to remove the dial. You can see here, there is space between the movement and the dial. Just put your screwdriver here and gently take it out. Done. Okay, that's very easy to do. Next, uh, unfortunately, this model, the, the crown position, the stem position is in very uncomfortable place because most of the dial dial pins here, they don't match with this particular crown position. So what I need to do, I need to cut them all and use the double scotch tape again. Let me show you. I use this. So very, very simple to put and I think it's kind of durable too. I received one comment that says, uh, the guy said that uh, better to find better dials which gonna fit your movement and I don't need to use this double scotch tape. Absolutely agree, uh, it's definitely better than using the scotch tape. Uh, but uh, I couldn't really find this particular dial with different sets of pins here. so. I better stick for for now. I stick for using the plastic, uh, the double side scotch tape. 
Okay, so right now I'm not gonna show you how I do it because it's kind of simple. I use the nail clippers and just bite these things off and then to make it really smooth without any leftovers I'm gonna use this and make it make it make it really really nice without any any uh, defects we'll see in one second okay I'm back so I cut the pins at the back of the dial you can see now it's kind of nice next I will need to put the double scotch tape on the movement I just take piece by piece carefully like that and put it just like this make sure you don't touch the day wheel otherwise you don't want to glue the day wheel right so better do not touch it and I put it like this uh, four pieces around just like this Maybe you can put even fifth one, but I think that's enough. Right, next. And the edges of the scotch tape, which sticking out outside a bit, I put it in. In other words, even if you are not perfectionist, you have to make this part of the job really really careful and nice okay probably I'm gonna speed up this part of the video because it's kind of boring to watch okay I'm done um, next part before you put in the new dial, if you use the same double scotch uh, tape, then you have to put the old dial first back and check where was your date, what the date, right? So for me it's 22, just put the pins back in the movement. So now I know that the new dial, I have to make sure that the 22 is exactly in the window not left or right okay so for this purpose i'm gonna move it outside the camera because i will need to watch it carefully okay just a second okay i'm back so i'm done take a look let's change the date it looks absolutely perfect let's turn to the window and you can see that the number is exactly in the middle I'm happy with this result. If you couldn't manage to put it really straight from the first try, um, don't get upset, just do it again. Yeah, and it's kind of, sometimes it's kind of tricky to see if it's in the middle. So I suggest you to turn the side to the source of the light. So then you're not gonna see the shadow. Because sometimes if you hold like this, and if the source of the light is in front of me, you can see the shadow above the number. And it's kind of confusing. You cannot see if it's in the middle, right? So just put it to the side. It's really easy to see. Then after I set the dial and it looks all good, I'm gonna uh, press it a bit harder. So it's really gonna stick to the movement. Next step, I will need to adjust the time set it to midnight in order to put hand our hand first and when you see that it's about to be midnight you have to move really really slowly yep done now after this let's set the first hand and as you see, I set the hour hand a little bit past 12. 
I don't know how to explain you why, but in my experience, even if you switch, even if you uh, went over the midnight, right? Anyway, you're gonna move it a little bit further than it should be. Yeah, so put your hour hand a, li a little bit forward. And again, first time, don't need to press it hard, right? Just press it very, very gently. Make sure it's kind of horizontal and change the time. Take a look if you've done it correctly. Go 24 hours again. And let's see when the date will change. Yep, okay. So I'm very happy with this result. It means that I set it kind of correctly. Then again, I use this tool. You can buy the set for the watch modifications, very cheap. But I suggest to buy more expensive, don't save money on tools if you're planning to modify it often. I already regret that I got this set, but anyway, it works for me. Now very gently, with some force, push the hand in and check from the side you can see it's really horizontal very nice then you go to three o'clock check it again from the side okay it's straight go to six from the side good and now i need to look closely if the hand doesn't touch the, the marker no still plenty of space then go to nine check Perfect. Go to 12. Check. All good. Wow, I think this is the first time <laughs> I managed to set the hour hand so easy and so fast from the first try. And I won't do anything more. I think this is absolutely fine. And as you see right now, it's already midnight, but the date doesn't change, so probably it's gonna be a few minutes later after midnight. Yeah, probably gonna be two or three minutes after midnight. It's not a problem though, but always want to make it perfect, you know? Okay, so right now, set it on midnight and let's assemble. Uh, let's put the next hand. Let's put the hour hand. Sorry if you hear my cats, they really want to go outside now. Okay, so for the hour hand, you have to use another tool. You can see that for, uh, sorry, for minute hand. For hour hand, you get a big diameter, but for minute hand, the diameter is smaller. That's important. I try to use the same as for hour, but I feel it doesn't, it doesn't really work well. I don't know how to explain it, but just just trust. Okay, let's push this hand. Again, the first time, don't need to push it hard. Just a little bit like this. Oh, let me actually zoom it in a bit. <laughs> I think that's way better, sorry. Okay, so I didn't push it hard, just minimum force to see if it aligned with everything. Everything I mean, six o'clock, you can see it's perfect, six, done. Then let's check nine o'clock. And perfect, wow. And let's go midnight, cross fingers already been night and the date was changed oh my god this is probably my best modifications ever and now we have the last step uh, the last step gonna be setting the second hand and I know that lots of people don't like it um, I'm gonna show you my way which I think 
easy to do. So take any any tool with the the flat pin, right? Kind of the side that you can push the second hand. Then I use my tweezers. Here's the hand. And boom, done. Actually, actually, I supposed to check it more carefully before pushing the second hand in. But I just kind of have some experience and I can feel if I put it right or not. Yes, just first step you have to check carefully. But if you have more experience, you ha can kind of uh, kind of skip the safety steps but still I recommend you to check every time and right now the second hand is a bit low as you can see compared to the minute hand I will need to push it yep let's take a look now and unfortunately it didn't change it's still the same let's try again pick the right tool so this is the third tool from that combo for hands. You can see that the pin here is metal and very, very small diameter. Okay, looks good. Let's check closer. <laughs> Funny, but closer it's still the same. In this case, I check that from the back side back side is also a bit higher in this case I'm gonna lift this side of the second hand a bit up how I do it very easy let me show you so now I take the same tool with the bigger diameter and what I do I basically put put it the second hand inside here and gently lift it up so basically what I'm doing I'm actually bending the hand really really softly um, I don't know why it happens like that why it's too low right now but maybe because when I remove the hands it bent not sure maybe it was like that when I received the original steel dive, I'm not sure too. Didn't check unfortunately before. So right now, after a slight, slightly fixing it, you can see, you can see now it's perfect. I'm not sure you can see or not. Mm, yeah, here you can see it's perfect horizontal line. Now I'm gonna start the watch and check all the position we're gonna check 3 6 9 and 12 o'clock if the hands don't touch each other so we already checked the hour and the minute hand so right now we have to check only only minute and second hands here all fine let's wait for the six o'clock and anyway, while we're waiting uh, I mentioned that I make this as another order. Um, I know that many people don't really like uh, modifications because they say, no, you are scamming people. It's so bad to do that. So I just want to say that I'm not going to try to scam anyone. When I sell these mods, I mention to people, I really want them to know that this is not original, still uh, not original Seiko, sorry. Because really, lots of people think that this is original Seiko and they're asking why so low price. And I'm telling them it's not original Seiko. <laughs> However, the quality is, I would say, almost the same, except the bracelet. Yeah, so. And yeah, um, I make it really, let's say, budget version. I don't change the back, 
the back covers or the breasted clasp with the logo or the crown with still that logo. I keep it as it is, but some people really want to have Seiko logo. I don't know, especially in Thailand here, people are crazy about Seiko. And they are okay to wear it with uh, still dive logo on the back case, because anyway, you cannot see it there. And here, by the way, uh, I think why do people pay triple price for the still dive from, oh, sorry, again, from the Seiko from the store, if they can buy still dive four times cheaper, and if mod modifications like this three times cheaper. Why would I waste so much money on original Seiko when I get the same parts for much lower price? Okay, so all the hands ready. And now I'm gonna remove the crown again, remove the stem. And before removing, by the way, you have to check if there is some dust on the dial, whatever, you have to clean it so you still can adjust the time. Let me check closer, wait a moment. Okay, so I check there is no dust, everything looks good. So now again, before trying to remove the stem, make sure it's in this position where you, where you uh, wind your watch, okay? Don't set it to the date changing or time changing, otherwise you're gonna break it, simply saying. Next, I use the same tool as I used before, and it's a bit more tricky this time because you have to put it under. I don't have enough tools probably, maybe there is something I can use in this case, but I didn't check yet. Yes. Right now, make sure again, make sure there is no dust on the dial. You can use this stuff. Sometimes small pieces of dust will stuck on the dial and you have to remove it by something. Then before putting the case on the movement, make sure you're gonna clean some dust. Even I know there is no dust because I put it upside down really fast, really careful. Anyway, need to blow something from there. And let's go. And yeah, the biggest disadvantage of using the scotch tape, double scotch tape, is when you when you put the movement in the watch, in the case, if you don't make it straight enough and then you correct it when it's already in the case, you will probably move the dial and you're gonna shift the, the day window, which is very, very annoying if you don't know what to do. So, First, uh, my recommendation, make sure it's exactly where you want it to be right now before pushing the movement inside the case. Let me check closer. How do you know that it's exactly in the case where you want it to be? Make sure that the hole where the stem go in is here, just in the center. My cat very annoying, sorry. Okay, looks straight now. So from this side it looks straight, how about from here? Yeah, it also looks straight. So when I make sure that everything aligned correctly, I can finally push the moment inside the case. Just like that. Actually, it's kind of hard to modify the watch when, when it's kind of far from you, just for camera, but anyway. Here, here we go. It's almost ready. You can see that the dial, the lighter green with parallel effect, absolutely gorgeous with the dark green bezel and um, inside rim, I forgot the name. Okay, so I think this is pretty, pretty beautiful. And also you can notice that the hands here, very, very lucky that still die for this model. If you buy, let's say black, the hands gonna be um, kind of similar to this. If you buy blue version, the hands will have some kind of blue color a little bit. And if you buy yellow, yeah, the hands gonna be 
more yellow. And before you close the watch, so first what I do, I put the crown back in the stem, in the in the moment. Again, how you do it? Just push push it gently, very gently, and turn it a bit left, right. Find the right position. If it doesn't go in, it is wrong position. If it goes in easily, it's correct position. Yeah. So here you go. That's how it looks like now. You can check by adjusting the time, the date. Oh, I want to see actually when it changed the date. Let's see. Okay, midnight now. Still didn't change. Okay, so two minutes, three minutes. Yeah, two minutes after midnight. I think this is a pretty good result. When I went to the Seiko shop and I and I checked the quality, you know, I check uh, the same hands alignment, all of that, just to compare with the mods I make. I just was wondering why people pay so, pay so much more, why they're willing to pay so much more. And you know, most of the watches, I cannot screen the crown, <laughs> funny. Most of the watches, when you're trying to, uh, here, just need to push it a bit harder. Okay, now. Most of the Seiko watches, when you're changing the time past the midnight, they don't change the date exactly at midnight too, actually. Sometimes really, really like 10 or 15 minutes past midnight. So right now, the next step, the next step, I have to make sure the waterproof is good. So I bought this China something lubricant and also the silicone for, uh, for waterproof. So I put the gasket here. So in this video, it's gonna be a really long video. I'm showing you all every step I do. What do you do then? Just turn like this. Make sure it's clean the gasket and applies this this grease. Here you can see like small pieces of it. Okay, I think that's enough. Now make sure that the, the rotor is on the side when it's protecting the, the uh, balance wheel so you don't mess it. Then gently put it back. Just like that. Okay, let me check it closer. Yep, all look good. Next step, we're gonna close it. So basically there is nothing left to do. Ah, by the way, I also adjust the balance wheel, but for that purpose I use my phone. Unfortunately, now I'm using it for recording this video. So I cannot show you that, but there is one app and you can adjust the balance wheel by yourself. Um, how to adjust the balance wheel, you can, you can find lots of videos on YouTube. This is really easy to do after you've done one or two watches. Yeah, the first time it may be tricky and you will say, how is it possible, it's not accurate enough. But it is kind of accurate if you manage if you if you've done one or two watches as i said before so right now what's left just closing closing the back case i need to speed up this part of video as well okay just a moment Okay, so it's done, finished, closed, everything looks beautiful. Um, 
you may ask how about waterproof is it really waterproof after you modify i think so i mean why not the the most important i think is the crown here if if it is designed to be waterproof and i'm sure that still their watches are kind of good here at this point check the date again i want to check everything again time yeah everything very very nice um another disadvantage of using cheap cheap dials from aliexpress is that sometimes the markers will not align correctly let's say um if you go if you go to 12 it's going to be perfect right if you go to 6 it's going to be perfect too just in the middle but if you go to 9 it's not going to be perfect so this is the disadvantage yeah so if you want to ensure that uh, the mod you do will be very easy without any issues i recommend you to buy more expensive dials yeah why not but i think uh, for this particular dial let let me show you again you can see the colors here just amazing it's not even about price like i would love to buy more expensive with better loom the same kind of the dial but i couldn't really find it all i found was this and I order many dials of these from different shops and from different shops they are different quality as well and uh, the pattern of these dials is gonna be very unique too so let's say there, there won't be two the same dials you can see these this lights they're all gonna be different different shapes different brightness whatever it, it looks absolutely amazing so by uh, by the way if i told you about this dials i'm gonna send you the link under this video anyway so i'm gonna show you some other colors i have of these i just really like this dials want to share with you you can see it's absolutely beautiful i'm gonna make another video with this dial you're gonna see it in more details soon yeah so right now let me finish let me finish this order if you want to order this watch if you don't know how to modify or you're afraid to screw up the watch you're afraid to break the movement whatever you can message me and purchase these modifications or any others from me okay and i'm finally done uh, i was really long to cut the bracelet because the customer as you see um, he has 15 centimeter wrists and he still wanted this big model so i mean you cannot judge people right so right now i'm gonna show you uh, how bright is the loom actually in this watch in this mod here i have uv flashlight let's leave it for five seconds okay it's really really beautiful the bezel is actually brighter than the dial markers but it is charming as well the dial markers are not so bright as you can see but still beautiful and still visible at night i already checked it on other modes so let's see more details right now it's not very sunny right now it's almost evening but i still have some light you can see more details i really love how this dial plays in the sunlight it's changing the color so so nice this is one of my favorite mods it's also available in yellow blue and white colors the same type of dial thank you for watching this video until the end uh, really appreciate your comments you can write any requests anything else you want to see and if you like these modifications or you want to see other modes uh, i'm gonna leave the link under the video I uh, just created Instagram page. There are not all the mods are made, but I'll 
add it every day, every day more and more. Um, again, thanks for watching and see you in the next videos. Have a great day ahead.